Welcome to Mason Cable News. Hope everyone had a great summer and a good first month of the semester. My name is Jeff Carberry. And I'm Shreya Fetichella. Volition Open Mic Night is back tonight at 7 p.m. Join Volition for an evening of entertainment and performances by Mason students. There will be free pizza and no admission charge. Come listen to or participate in the fun. Everyone is welcome. Learning Services is hosting a workshop called What is ADD ADHD on Friday, September 30th at 9.30 a.m. ADHD represents unique challenges to college students and this workshop is a supportive way to learn more about the characteristics of ADHD, resources for assessment and support, and effective strategies for college or work. This event will be held in person with a live stream over Zoom. Sign up on Mason 360. Liberty Square and Potomac Heights present a live skills fair tomorrow at 2 p.m. Come enjoy food, snacks, prizes, and games while learning different live skills. Sign up on Mason 360. Tomorrow at 3 p.m., GMU Democrats will host Senator Mark Warner in Enterprise Room 80. Senator Warner will discuss the midterm elections, among other things. Sign up on Mason 360. Learn how to be prepared for your time in the outdoors and get practice in critical thinking for emergencies that may come up on your adventures. In this two-day course, you will learn an introduction to general medical concepts and basic life support skills, as well as practicing skills and evacuation plans. The cost is $225 for Mason students and faculty, and $250 for the general public. The Wilderness First Aid event takes place on October 1st and October 2nd from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Rack Overlook. Sign up on Mason 360. Viva Momix will be at the Center for the Arts on Saturday, October 1st at 8 p.m. The program is a mix and match variety of sections from Botanica, Alchemia, and Renix, Opus Cactus, and Lunar Sea. Expect the unexpected as athletic bodies morph into wondrous shapes and create illusions with the help of clever props, stunning costumes, artful lighting, and astonishing imagination. Formed by choreographer, choreographer Moses Pendleton, Momix has earned an international reputation for its ingenious carefully crafted productions. Per performance is appropriate for all ages. Pick up fr free student tickets at Will Call at Concert Hall. Do you spend too much or too little time studying? Learn the three levels of successful time management and increase your ability to balance study with other activities. Learning Services will host a time management workshop on Monday, October 3rd at 9 a.m. through Zoom. Sign up on Mason360. Join Mason Faz for another one of their Visiting Filmmaker series on Monday, October 3rd at 6 p.m. in the Johnson Center Cinema for a screening of the documentary Faya Dai and a post-screening -screen discussion with the filmmaker Jessica Bashir. The Criterion Collection describes Faya Dai as a sublime work of personal vision, a documentary immersed in the world of Ethiopia's Oromo and Harari communities, places where one commodity, caught a euphoria-inducing plant once prized for its mystical properties holds sway over the rituals and rhymes of everyday life. Sign up on Mason 360. Healing Lounge is a supportive space for students to decompress and hang out in the community with the advocacy and recovery staff and the, and the Student Support and Advocacy Center. The goal of the Healing Lounge is to provide a trauma-informed consent-focused space for students who have experienced trauma, mental health concerns, and or recovery to drop off and practice a little self and community care. The event is held every Tuesday from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Student Support and Advocacy Center in Sub 1, Room 3200. This week's theme is creating your own DIY sand tray. Also on Tuesday is an info session for an abroad semester in Budapest, Hungary. The program is based in one of the most beautiful cities in Hungary. It is a perfect location to study history and politics of the EU, Hungary's challenges to democracy, and nationalism perceived in Eastern Europe. The program is open to undergrad and grad students and includes three challenging courses taught by senior Hungarian professors and a supervised internship. The event takes place through the Global Education Office via Zoom at 2 p.m. Sign up on Mason 360. Shreyas will now give you the weekly weather report and give you an insight on what to expect this coming week. Hello Patriots, hope you guys are having a great day. This week will be a cooler, very fall-like week. Today was mostly sunny with a high of 69 degrees. Tomorrow will be cloudy with some showers in the evening with a high of 66 degrees. This weekend will be cool and damp with some of the rain being remnants from Hurricane Ian. Saturday will also be rainy with a high of 63 degrees. For Sunday it will also be rainy and the high will be 62 degrees. 
Monday will be rainy and damp, although the rain will be much lighter. The high will be 61 degrees. Tuesday will be cloudy and the high will be 63 degrees. Wednesday will be partly cloudy and the high will be 68 degrees. Uh, I think you should consider co uh, keeping an umbrella close this week. Thank you, Shreyas. The GMU Chinese Department hosts a Kung Fu class every Wednesday until October 19th at 1 p.m. at Sub 1, room 3332. The class allows students to learn the basics of Tai Chi and Kung Fu from professional martial artist and champion Master Zhang Hao. This class is open to people of all experiences and all ability levels. Everyone is encouraged to join. Join the experience firsthand. The class is free. Sign up on Mason 360. Mason in Color is back. Enjoy a night of vocal performances, spoken word, instrumental music, and visual art, dance, and more. This event is a celebration of diversity and Mason's BIPOC, and Mason's BIPOC community. This will feature a number of Mason's amazing student organizations and clubs. This event takes place on Thursday, October 6th at 5 p.m. in Dewberry Hall. Register on Mason 360. Popcorn and Pop Culture takes place on Thursday, October 6th at 5 p.m. Join Women and Gender Studies at the WGST Center in JC Room 2440K for a feminist film and discussion afterwards. Sign up on Mason 360. So Jeff, considering the thoughts of the tuition change that's happened this week, uh, what, what are your thoughts on this tuition change? Well, I've uh, noticed that uh, since it will be that the state, uh, that the school decide to go with the 3% increase in tuition, that they are giving a rebate uh, back uh, to the students who paid uh, that tuition, um, uh, so that it will be nice to get that, uh, I think it's about 200 something dollars back uh, for those who paid the upwards of 3% increase in tuition across the state. Uh, so it will be um, good for them and to deal with, uh, do the economic uh, issues, uh, inflation, stuff like that, it'll be nice to get some money back. Definitely. I think that students are already like pretty burdened uh, with, you know, the tuition demands already. So getting uh, uh, so getting one of these, uh, like getting some money back uh, through that rebate is extremely helpful. Thank you for tuning in, Patriots. You can keep up to date with news on and off campus if you follow us on Instagram at MCN, on TV, Twitter, and Facebook at Mason Cable Network, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Jeff Carberry. And I'm Shreya Sadicherla. Have a great week, Patriots. Thank you.